You have a problem with juice because the message pops up something like just requires virtual memory to be enabled then my friend I have a solution for you and the solution is nothing like the solution that many people are trying to sell you like um, you see like this guy right click on my com on my computer and select properties click advanced tab look under performance and settings click some people think like that you can fix it by going here advanced system settings settings advanced change and changing this number they think that you can change it but I can tell you those people probably never even played game like juiced or never had any kind of problem like that because they don't know a thing about this right so basically how to fix this the only thing that you need to do to fix the problem is by going um, you you have your launch um, juiced icon um, shortcut on your desktop right if you don't just create a shortcut and put it on your desktop then right click on it as you can see on the properties if you check like just configuration you're gonna see there is a tab called compatibility you can compatible you can set the compatibility of uh, Windows XP service pack 3 right but in launcher you don't have that option so that means you cannot set it manually you need to set it automatically that means you right click on the icon you click troubleshoot compatibility it's gonna de detect the issues that this problem this uh, game has so when it finishes detecting it's gonna open something like this you're gonna have to you're gonna click the first one so try recommended settings if it doesn't work you can try the second one but I think anytime I needed that I use the first one and it worked so basically it's gonna set the compatibility mode into Windows XP service pack 3 by itself so automatically nothing nothing that you would need to do so then click test the program you're gonna test it's gonna work um, I could say I could say 80% I'm 80% sure that it's gonna work for you to 80% because I, I don't want to say 100% sure because some people may still have a problem with this but I don't know how it this works with uh, other um, but I can tell you that this works on Windows 8.1 which I have on my computer then when you test the program you go to next you're gonna have to click yes save these settings if it works otherwise which is um, probably not so often I have never used this option before or this um, so if it doesn't go to no try again using different settings and try the second one or basically those are I think the only two options so you're gonna have to check online but I can tell you online you won't find a solution so you click yes save the settings it's gonna save the settings and that's basically it the game is gonna work as if you had Windows XP um, so hopefully this helped you to fix the game so you don't need to delete the game and you just if you maybe have original CD 
that you don't have to like throw it in the garbage because of that because I can tell you it's a good game If this was a solution for your problem, make sure to leave a like and share it to other people so it can help others too and um, if you found any other solution, please make sure to comment it below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. See you next time.